men tend to deal with depression differently than women, and may show different signs that they are depressed. Postpartum depression is an incapacitating psychological illness. It affects more than 15% of new mothers and 10% of new fathers. Many parents simply do not tell anyone that they are not coping with their new role as parents. It is common to experience very painful emotions after the birth of a new baby, and men in particular do not ask for help. How many men visit a doctor when they need it, let alone get help, when they are not coping emotionally or experiencing the baby? Blues. There is a piece of advice my mother has given me over and over again through the years, and that is where there is a will, there is a way. This can be applied to so many situations that come about in our lives, but when it comes to dealing with depression, some days you may find you have the will to do nothing. That can be many things in life that bring about that depressed feeling, but feeling depressed and actually being depressed are two entirely different things. For example, failing an exam, being dumb, or even losing someone you love can cause you to feel down. However, in most cases these feelings pass and you move on with life. One man may throw himself into a favorite hobby, whereas a workaholic may become more dependent upon work. While ignoring his relationships, men may show typical signs of depression, too, such as feelings of fatigue and burnout sleep disturbances and decreased libido. Thought patterns may change. Men may think more negatively and perceive the world in darker, more threatening ways. This can be a subtle change. Depressed men may start feeling anxious and worried and respond poorly to daily problems or stress at work or home, either overreacting or underreacting. Men may not discuss the way they are feeling with anyone and may not recognize the changes themselves. As a result of societal conditioning, they tend not to talk about their stress with their friends, unlike women, who tend to get support from other women. And the impact their depression can have on their family life and primary relationships is often nothing short of devastating. The next tip I want to share with you about self-help for depression and anxiety is the sunlight tip. Ask yourself do you get enough sunlight? It may sound silly, but the lack of exposure to sunlight is responsible for the secretion of the hormone called melatonin, which could trigger a dispirited mood and slash or lethargic condition. Speaking from experience, I find this to be very true, as working from home means I spend a lot more time indoors, and at times it hasn't been good for my mental health. This is also the reason many people suffer from seasonal depression sag, which occurs in the fall and winter months. If you aren't able to go outside it's a good idea to open your curtains or blinds and allow sunlight to come in. Second, if you know someone the depressed man knows and respects, such as his father, pastor or best friend, suggest that he talk to that person. Or you may enlist the help of a family member or close friend who has his ear. Third, try to get him to see his doctor or yours and encourage him to talk to his doctor about his depressed feelings. Maybe he needs to go for other reasons, too. The physician can make a referral for counseling or prescribe helpful antidepressant medication if needed. For sometimes we men need a little prodding and pampering. Be persistent and don't give up. As long as you proceed in a non-threatening manner, remember, you want the man to view your efforts to help him as a sign of your deep felt concern rather than an attempt to nag or harass him. He won't end up feeling pressured by you if you always state your concern in non-demanding ways. The way you say something is as important as what you say. Some sensitive men are hard to approach, but they tend to respond favorably when you talk to them in a direct caring and gentle manner. Avoid allowing your body language or tone of voice to express anger or contempt. Consider the impact depression can have on relationships, especially intimate ones. A man's marriage can suffer because of his depression and he may not realize what's wrong. His wife will feel the impact as well. So his biggest support system may be compromised, which only compounds the Problem. Counseling. If you are in an intimate relationship with a depressed partner, it is often best to seek counseling. 
it is much easier and more effective to sit down with a trained relationship professional to discuss your relationship problems. It is not necessary to dive headlong into a strict exercise routine. It's more important to find activities that suit your circumstances and your interests. For example, if you were out shopping and were faced with the option of taking the elevator or stairs, just take the stairs to incorporate a little more exercise into your day. Perhaps if you were going to the shops, you could park your car a couple of blocks away and walk the rest of the way there. Take the dog for a walk to the park, or if you don't have a dog, borrow the neighbors. They love you for such a kind gesture, and so will the dog. There are so many people walking around with depression, but they do not go and ask for help. This can be for a variety of reasons. Fear of the unknown is one of them. This is actually so unnecessary. Why walk around with a symptom if you can be cured of it? Remember that depression does not only affect you, but it actually affects the people around you as well. So it is important to tackle this issue together. Emotional support during a depression battle is vital. You must discern whether you want to opt for self-help for depression treatments or medical treatments. Keep the following in mind, when before you go for T-R-E-A-T-N-E-N-T-D-E-P-R-E-S-S-I-O-N treatment may take time to work properly. Do not get impatient. This is why emotional support is especially important. When you want to give up, it helps a lot. When someone is next to you, spurring you on, you will probably have to investigate which therapy or exercise works best for your depression symptoms. There are some great resources available. Just remember that everyone is different, and that one treatment will not fit all. Be ready to experiment. You have to understand what kind of depression you are going through. Remember that depression symptoms are categorized in different levels of severity. I do not think that self-help for depression treatments would be a great option for severe depression, but professional medical advice should rather be sought. Suggestions. Depressed men may not know they are depressed and may not recognize the signs and often choose not to talk about the problem. Yet depression can have a derogatory effect on relationships, careers and all areas of life. To help a depressed man look for signs of depression, such as behavioral changes and talk to the depressed man in a sympathetic way. Avoid allowing depression to remain in the closet. Give the man in your life, whether it be your husband, father, brother or friend, lots of support and encouragement. Establish communication about your concerns. Depression can have a serious impact on your marriage and can cause serious relationship problems. Deal with it as a couple. Help your spouse get the help he needs. If there are problems in your relationship that are contributing to the depression, it is wise to address them. Don't allow depression to rob you of joy and happiness. Face it, find solutions, and move on. Richard Hammond is a dynamic coach and therapist with 30 years of professional experience. Richard helps people to solve their relationship problems, enjoy truly extraordinary marriages, and find exceptional success in their lives. You'll find all kinds of articles on how to spice up your relationships and lead a happier life at Richard's website, happyrelationships.com. Find out about personal coaching programs to assist you in quickly reaching your loftiest goals. Discover ebooks, relaxation CDs, and other informative products, such as a free relationship quiz to help you assess your relationship 